Hey, so one of the biggest questions we have for people looking to get out on the beautiful Beaulieu River is, should I go in a kayak or should I go in a canoe? Well, this video aims to help you make that decision by explaining the differences and what it means when you come out on one of our taster sessions. So I think one of the big problems with knowing the difference between a canoe and a kayak is if you're anything like me, when you were at school, you'd be told, we're going to go canoeing today, everyone. And then they would promptly put you all in kayaks. Um, and that confusion for many continues to this day. So <laughs> canoes and kayaks really, it's more about the type of paddle that you use than the boat itself. So a kayak has a double bladed paddle, whereas a canoe has a single bladed paddle. Um, for our sessions here at New Forest Activities, we use traditional canoes. Um, they're two, three, sometimes even four seater boats. They're open topped and there's plenty of room for kit, children, even dogs occasionally accompanying us on our journeys. Um, as opposed to a kayak, which is a single seater boat, we do have some doubles for our hire services, but for the taster sessions, we're using single kayaks. Uh, the big difference really though, is you're sat in a boat and as you paddle along, you splash yourself. Um, so the kayaking experience, although very stable boats are being used, it's still damp as opposed to canoeing, which, assuming everybody keeps a nice balance and enjoys the stability of the boats, means you're going to stay pretty much totally dry. As well as the type of paddle, uh, one of the biggest differentiators between a canoe and a kayak is the way that you sit in the boat. In fact, canoeists traditionally would kneel down. This gives us more control over the boat. Now, when you're first starting out, although a lot of the weight is on your backside, people find actually it's a lot more comfortable to sit in the canoe. Um, they can still get a bit of control by having their legs fairly wide apart, um, but it's a little bit more relaxing for those that haven't done it before. I'm now sat at the stern of this canoe. At the back of the boat, this is where the steering happens. As you've got forward momentum, you're able to pull water to turn the boat away from the paddle or push water to turn the boat in the other direction. Now this is great as long as there's enough momentum. So I'm going to need someone that's able to provide a little bit of power to help me on my journey. Normally, practically, that's a child 12 years or older, or of course another adult. If you've got younger children, the best place for them is going to be in the middle, where they can act as a little bit of a passenger, but also help out on occasion with extra power. And finally, when it comes to canoeing, people are often concerned about the chance of a capsize. Now these boats are very, very stable, but it's not to say that it never happens. Occasionally, even when people don't want it to, they do find themselves in the water. This is why all participants wear buoyancy aids, first and foremost. That's gonna keep you floating, keep you safe. And the other thing you need to appreciate with these boats is you cannot self-rescue. You need one of our guides or another competent canoeist to empty the water out of the boat and get you back in. As long as you remain calm and floating, on your boy and say that process can be done in under a minute. Um, so we do advise people to bring a change of clothes, uh, but nothing more than that really, as rescues, although they're quite rare, are very quick and easy to deal with if we did need to do them. I'm now afloat in the kayak, and what's apparent, perhaps, is that I'm actually now sitting down. I've got a backrest giving me support, and I am comfortably sat in this boat with a spray deck upon me. Um, the idea of the spray deck is to stop the splash, because as I paddle along, splashes of water are going to come off the blades onto me. Having said that, these are optional. Um, you can choose to paddle with or without a spray deck. Uh, the good news is, is if you need it to come off, your knees will quite easily pop it off in the event of a capsize. They are really well balanced and actually really quite hard to get over in the water. Uh, because of the design, because of the size of them, uh, these touring kayaks for, for people 12 years and upwards. Younger than that, we find they haven't got the, the strength and sometimes they're just not physically big enough to propel these along. We do offer sessions for younger children. Our family kayaking goes down as young as eight, but this is in double sit-on-top kayaks, which are different in design from these, our touring boats. So finally, a couple of things that differentiate the kayak from a canoe. 
kayaks are actually quite a lot quicker because you've got that double paddle because it's a smaller boat it will move quite a lot faster through the water so we can cover more distance on our sessions and if it's a mixed session you just need to appreciate if you're with canoeists you might need to wait a little bit for them the other thing with these again like our canoes you can't really self-rescue so you, again although a capsize is highly unlikely our team will need to be on hand to quickly get you back in the boat. Again, that whole process is under a minute and with the buoyancy aids, you're going to be totally safe again in and around the water.